Hi there. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Did you turn the truck off? No, it's off. Can you turn the truck off for me? Can you have me the keys? Fifty-four ten, written. I just was flagged down by a citizen reporting a uh, truck that's swerving all over the road. Try to catch up with it. Coming up over four master. Yeah, I tried to get caught up. It's a red Ford F one fifty with a camper. Shell. Alpha 10 Alpha, I'm just on 700 South. I'm trying to catch up with you. Copy. Plate numbers Tango 20 Charlie Alpha that is returning to a right 2001 Ford F-150 to a Hyundai Stedman or Brian Hoffman. Here we go, Washington, 8 of 2024, and entering the interim as a 1031. Copy. Yeah, a couple of citizens flagged me down, said it was moving all the road and almost hit another vehicle. Got a pretty good driving pattern. I'm going to try to go 1060 here at uh, Riverside and Four Master, just east. Control 210 Alpha, she just kind of was stopped at the green light, not moving at all. I'm trying to go 1060, we're still eastbound. Copy, you're still eastbound on Foremaster. Eastbound on Riverside now. Back off. Control looks like she's going to be pulling into the dyno wash. Looks like we're finally stopping. What are you doing? Stupid lady. Hi there. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Did you turn the truck off? No, it's off. Can you turn the truck off for me? Can you have me the keys? The reason I'm asking you for the keys is you are all over the road. Did you just like fall asleep at the light or what the light was full green for like a minute uh at the light i definitely was had a lot on my mind so i didn't realize that it had turned green so that's what happened there but i okay. didn't okay do you have a driver's license with you it's funny you ask because uh -huh. every day i walk out of my house with my bag and this time i was just running my son to work and he was running late so i didn't oh, grab okay. it where does your son work at he works at pika rica you just took him, is that where you're coming from right now? Mm hmm You just headed home? Mm hmm What's your name? Candy. Candy? Candy what? Stedman. Okay. Okay. Um, and I just live right, like, just right down there if you want me to get my, if you want to follow me to get well, my ID. Well, no, I, I can look it up with just with your name. So, the reason that I'm actually stopping you today is a citizen flagged me down over on 700 South and said that they, they were following you or weaving all over the roadway and you almost hit another car. Um, so I got it behind you and came over for master and you're all over the road. You barely, you went clear over the lines at the red light before you even stopped. And then when the light turned green, you didn't go at all for almost a minute until I kind of touched my siren. Mm -hmm. And then when you pulled out, did you even see the other car on your right? Because you yeah. came clear out into that lane, you almost took her front end off. I did see the car, yeah. Because there's, there's two lanes, right, that turn right there. You came clear over and right in front of her like that. 
Um, are you on any type of prescription medications? No. Nope. Okay. Your eyes are really constricted, your pupils. When's the last time that you used? I don't use. I haven't used. Yeah. When's the last time that you used? Um, I woke up at, uh, I mean, could it be because my son was late for work and he had to be there at 8. We didn't wake up till 9, so I jumped out of bed and I hurried in. Um, does something like that make your pupils constrict? Because no. I'm not on anything. You're not on any type of prescription medications of any kind? No. And no illicit drugs such as heroin, fentanyl, anything of that nature? No. Because that's what I'm suspicious of right now. Well, you're absolutely wrong. I can okay. promise you that. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is ask you to take some fill sobriety tests to make sure you're okay. Okay? okay. How, how long ago did you wake up? It's 8.30 now. So I woke up at 8 because he said, Mom, Mom, I'm supposed to be at work right now. Okay, and it took you how long to drive over there and drop um, him? You probably said, 12 minutes, maybe. 12 minutes. You live in Washington? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and you got slippers for both feet? Yeah. Okay, great. Why don't you jump out here and we'll do those tests real quick. And you said your first name is Candy? Yeah. Okay. Get out of the car. <laughs> yeah, no, no judgment here. Just right over here in front of your car. We'll just do these right over here, okay? It's nice and level right here. Okay, you can just stand right there for me, okay? Would you mind, Candy, just putting your feet together and then put your hands at your side? Okay, uh, a few more questions I want to ask you just about your health. Feet together for me. There you go, hands at your side. Okay, this first test is very simple, just involves your eyes, okay? okay? What I want you to do is, if you could, I want you to focus on that red light. Can you see that at the tip of my pen? Yep. What I'm going to do, Candy, is I'm going to move that left and right like this, okay? I want you to focus on it with your eyes only and keep your head still, all right? You can go ahead and blink during the test, all right? Very good, your eyes are tracking. Okay, I'm going to start the test now. To move your head, just your eyes only. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Okay, go ahead and blink your eyes a couple times. One more eye test, okay? This one's very simple. I want you to just focus on the tip of my finger. I'm going to go in a series of circles like this around your face, okay? I'll bring my finger right into the bridge of your nose, but I won't touch you. I'll come about two inches away from your nose. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger and let your eyes go across. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Can you maintain that position for me? Just, yeah. There you go. Hands at your side. There you go. Focus right there for me. Right on the tip of my finger.
one more time. Okay, very good. All right, I want you to stay in that position for me, okay? What I want you to do, Candy, is imagine there's a straight line on the cement right here in front of you that's about as wide as your foot. What I'd like you to do, please, is take your left foot, place it on the imaginary line, and then put your right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe. Put your hands at your side, and then stand in this position and don't move. Do you mind if I do it barefoot? I think these shoes are going to... Yeah, sure, absolutely. If you want to do it barefoot, that's, that's just fine. Yeah, I know this, the cement might be a little cold, if that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so left foot on the line, right foot in front, touching heel to toe. Right foot in front. Yeah, there you go. Yep, right foot in front, touching heel to toe. Hands at your side. You know, I'm normally very balanced, but you, you guys have got me all shaken up, so. Okay. I can understand that. Yeah, hands at your side there. Like this? Yep. And I want you to stay in that position for just a moment. I'm going to give you a couple more instructions, so don't start the test until I ask you to, okay? okay. When I ask you to begin, Candy, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps down the line. You'll turn around, and you'll take nine heel-to-toe steps back. I'm going to demonstrate for you. This is the position that you're in right now, like this. Your first step will be with your left foot. That'll be number one. Keep your hands at your side. Count your steps out loud and walk touching heel to toe on every step. You wanna go ahead and go back in that position for me. There you go. Try to maintain that as best you can, okay? You're going to count your steps out loud. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three. You're gonna go all the way to nine. Okay, I'm going to back up so I can show you the turn. When you get to that ninth step, that foot that's in front, leave it planted on the ground and take a series of small steps around that lead foot just like this. That's how you'll turn around. Then you go back the other way. One, two, three, and so on until you reach nine steps. I have One, a machine, but Okay. Sorry. It, it's cold. it is cold, yeah. Hopefully these will be okay. Do you understand those instructions? Yes. Do you have any questions about them? So, how many steps again? Nine. Nine down, turn around, and nine back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you want Do you want to do it in your barefoot now that you don't have to stand there and listen to instructions anymore, or do you want to do it with your shoes on? Uh, I think I'll be okay. You'd be okay with those. You walking those normally? Yeah. Okay, and you understand the instructions? Yeah, except for when I get down there to turn around. How do I turn around? Just like I showed you, right? That lead foot planted on the ground, and then a series of small steps around that lead foot. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Let's get you set up straight. Yep. Get your get your feet lined up straight. Hands at your side, and then when you're in that position, once you left foot. I, swear to God, I, I understand. To drink. I understand. Okay. When you're ready, go ahead and begin. Yeah. So left foot on the line, right foot in front, and then start from there. There you go, now start. Okay, now I walk around. Just like I showed you. Okay, let's let's try an, let's try another one. If you want to just put your feet together for me again, hands at your side if you would. There you go. Thank you. Okay, this one is quite simple. Just involves you standing on one leg for a short amount of time. Okay. okay. I'm going to demonstrate what I want you to do. So just watch what I do, and then I'll ask you to start. Okay. When I ask you to begin, can you're going to raise whichever leg you want. Okay, up off the ground about six inches like this. I want you to keep both legs straight during the test. Keep your hands at your side. You're going to point that raised toe like that so it's parallel with the ground. 
I want you to look at your raised toe and count out loud. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. You'll continue counting until I ask you to stop. The test is very brief. Um, if you put your foot down while you're counting, pick it right back up immediately and continue counting where you left off. Don't start the test over. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Candy, when you're ready, go ahead and begin. You say count to what? Till I tell you to stop. Okay. So just six inches off the ground, right? Five. That's all you need. Just like six inches like that. I'm telling you, any other day I could do this stuff. I'm so worked up right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask you to do two more that don't involve any balance. All you gotta do is stand here, okay? Okay, feet together again, hands at your side like this. Okay, this test, Candy, very simple. I'm gonna ask you to tilt your head back about 45 degrees, about like that. I want you to close your eyes, and in your head, I want you to estimate the passage of 30 seconds. When you believe 30 seconds has passed, open your eyes and say stop, so that I know you finished the test. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, can you keep your hands at your side for me during the test? Yeah. Any questions? Okay, go ahead and tilt your head back, 45 degrees. And we're counting to what? You're estimating 30 seconds in your estimating head. Estimating 30 seconds. Okay. I got to tell you when to begin, though. So, okay. yep, tilt your head back. Tilt your head back 45 degrees. Go ahead and do that. Close your eyes and begin. What did you do to estimate? I counted to 30. Just counted like one, two, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. What did you do in your head? I just did like one, two, three, four. Okay, and just until you hit 30. Okay, all right, last test. You're gonna do the same thing with your head that you did on the last one. You're gonna tilt your head back 45 degrees and close your eyes. Do you know your left hand from your right hand? Yes. Okay, what I want you to do is hold your fingers out to your side like this. I will tell you left or right. When I do, I want you to bring your corresponding finger up like this and touch the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose and then bring it back down and then I'll tell you the next one, okay? okay. So let's say this is your nose, this is your finger. Tip to tip, straight in, not on the pad or the side, that's wrong. Does that make sense? So it's gonna, I'm gonna bring it in like this. So just like I just showed, like this. You're gonna touch your nose and bring it back down. Does okay. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? No. Okay, go ahead and tilt your uh, head back for me. 45 degrees. Close your eyes. Right. And then remember to bring it back down once you've touched your nose. Keep your head tilted back 45 degrees. Left. Keep your head tilted back 45 degrees. Right. Keep your head tilted back, please, 45 degrees. Left. Left.
and right. Okay, that concludes the test, Candy. Candy, I'm not sure what's going on with you, but I believe that you're under the influence. I believe, I don't think it's alcohol at all. I think it's some type of drug, and whether that's illicit drug or a prescription drug, I don't know, but there's no doubt in my mind, based on what I observed with your driving and now what I've observed with your field sobriety test, that you are impaired and you should not be behind the wheel of a car. Okay, have you ever had a day where you, you wake up and then... Right now, I need you to listen to me. You're under arrest for suspicion of DUI. But, Turn your face I'm away not, from me. I'm not intoxicated. I, I didn't just say you were up. intoxicated. I think you're under the influence of drugs. Turn and face away from me. Put your hands on the back of your head. Regardless, I'm not under Turn the influence of drugs. Turn and face away drugs. from me. I just woke up. Okay, you're not listening. Female. Let's throw some gloves on real quick. There you go. DY. Control turn off. Oh, he starts with DY. Candy, do you have anything on you that's going to poke me or hurt me at all? You have seven, six, six dollars in there. Candy, yes. Ten for us, correct, thank you. Just gonna check your waistband. Switch my sides. Candy, are you wearing a bra this morning? I don't think so. Okay, all right. And then back here, do you have a cell phone in the truck? Or a wallet? What's that? Okay, so you don't have your wallet or phone or anything in there? Okay. I'm just asking so we can bring it with you so you have it. But, um, can, can you, uh, Somebody call my husband because we can't leave the truck sitting there. I understand. By state law, I have to tow the truck. I don't have a choice in that. I can't do that. The last time you guys did that, I, don't I never have a got choice my car in back. It. Have a seat right here. It's state law. Otherwise, I would. I would call your husband, but I'm not. I can't hold on to that. I mean, he's literally like two minutes down the street. I believe you're telling me the truth. I just don't have an option. Let me get this pulled up and we'll do the, we'll go. Yeah. Are you still living? We're doing an inventory of your truck, recording what's in it before we uh, turn it over to the tow company. You, you did have your cell phone with you. 
I've got your phone. Yeah, you did have your phone with you. What's that? They'll let you get any numbers you need need off of it once we get to the jail. Your car was stolen? Yeah, and instead of um, taking it to my house, which was um, like blocks away, they took it to a tow company. And oh, really? When I tried to get it back, the tow company uh, like over $3,000. And it meant I didn't have money, so I just lost the car completely. Oh, I, I see. Oh, geez. How recently was that? Was that pretty recent? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I've dealt with a lot of drowsy drivers, um, and I don't believe that's what's going on with you. Well, I, I, I can understand that that might be the case, but I also think that there's something else going on. I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be going down to the police department. I'm going to be asking you to provide a blood sample to determine what might be in your system that may be impairing you. Okay? Hang tight for just a minute. Control 210 Alpha, if we haven't already, can we get a 1051 state tax coming? Thanks, man. I appreciate you yeah. coming so quick. I was halfway tempted to pull over that guy that was hitched. That, that lady? Yeah, I was like, that's why I put my hand up the window and I was like, back off. What are you yeah. doing? I'm obviously trying to stop this car. You're just like driving like no care in the world. Like, oh, blah, 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 blah. if I could have pulled her over, I would have written her a ticket. Right. Here's a female. You no, you're good.
There you go. Thanks for coming over. Appreciate it. All right, Candy. Just watch your step coming out, okay? Yeah, give me just a moment, okay? Candy, I'm going to remove you from handcuffs uh, just for your comfort while we're in here. Just understand that you're still under arrest, so if you were to do anything, try to assault us or run away or anything, that would be a felony, okay? All right, go ahead and stand up. Take care of those. Just put this hand on the back of your head, okay? See for me. to read you an admonition, so listen to me carefully, please, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is Candy Stedman. You've been placed under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs or with a measurable amount of a controlled substance or metabolite in your body. I hereby request that you submit to a chemical test to determine the alcohol and or drug content of your body, and I request you take a blood test. Test results indicating an unlawful amount of alcohol, drug, or a controlled substance or its metabolite in your breath, blood, urine, or oral fluids in violation of Utah law, or the presence of alcohol and or drugs sufficient to render you incapable of safely driving the motor vehicle may result in denial, suspension, revocation, or disqualification of your driving privilege or refusal to issue a license. What is your response to my request that you submit to a chemical test? Partner Officer Lusk here is a certified phlebotomist in the state of Utah. He'll be doing the blood test here. Are you allergic to shellfish or iodine at all? No. No, you can remove that sweater.
an insulin pump or something? <sighs> what? There was some kind of orange device hanging or something in your sweater. Oh, that's a vape. A vape? Yeah. I see that. Thank you. Which arm does they usually use? This one. That one? that dry for a second, otherwise it stinks. Blood draw time? What's that? Control 210 off for more blood draw, please. Zero nine twenty.
eyes open for her questions. Uh, not on her, but on the report I do. your memoranda rights, so listen to me carefully, okay? Candy, you have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you before any questions are asked. You don't have to answer any questions without an attorney being present, and you can stop answering questions at any time and request an attorney. Do you understand those rights? Do you have any questions about them? All right. I've got a few questions I'd like to ask you. Is that okay? direction you were driving? I'm not good with direction as far as north, south, east, west. I used to know I had to go one way to get my son from taking my son to Pico Rica and then I had to go back home. And I don't know if that's north or south or what. Okay. Uh, where did you start from when you started driving? from my home. What's home? It was probably not more than a few minutes after eight. Because we were late and uh, he was supposed to be there at eight. You know what time it is now? No idea, but I guess ten thirty or something. Uh, what is today's date? Zero nine twenty. Yeah. Today is November. Um, November fifth. And what day of the week is it today? Today is uh, Sunday. Yeah, what city or county are you in right now? Washington County. What were you doing during the last three hours? Uh, driving. I have had a drink since um, October uh, 26, 2012. Are you under the influence of an alcoholic beverage and or drugs right now? thing that I can imagine that maybe you're, you're, you're seeing. Were you in 
involved in a motor vehicle crash today? No. Let me explain this to you, and then uh, we'll get you back in handcuffs for the ride out, okay? okay? This is your impound form for your vehicle. The vehicle is at Harrison Towing and Repair. This is the address where it's at. In order to get it out of the impound, you need to step one, go to the Division of Motor Vehicles, which is just Kitty Corner over across from the jail, pay the impound fee, they'll give you a letter of impound release, you take that with you to the tow yard, they'll release the vehicle. You need to do that as soon as possible. Okay. How much is the, the fee? I don't know what the fee is. That's set by the DMV and they'll tell you what that is when you call or, or, or go in there to pay that, okay? This is your citation. You're going to be booked into jail on a misdemeanor DUI, reckless driving and driving on denied license. This is going to be the Washington County Justice Court, okay? Driving on a denied license? Yeah, your license is denied right now. I don't know why. I don't know if you've had too many tickets or if it's suspended for some other reason, but your license is denied. Down here on the bottom of the citation, this is the civil portion that's handled by the driver's license division. Because of that, you have a right to a civil hearing with the driver's license division concerning your license. You need to request it within 10 calendar days of today's date, and you need to do it in writing or by email. The instructions are printed right here on this form. You understand? And I'm going to circle that just to remind you that you have that right to the hearing, okay? In the meantime, uh, your driver's license is denied. You're not okay to drive until you contact them and just find out why it's denied and what you need to do to get reinstated, okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay, go ahead stand up for me. Just bring your hands behind your back for me, okay? And just so you're aware, our evidence and the jail will not take this, so it will be disposed of. That's great. You screaming all the way around today. Well, the reason why well, is because of the catching fire. That's why our evidence and the jail evidence won't take it. So it won't because be of the batteries. Okay. Right this way. Well, they would have found it. They would have found it at the jail, right? And it would have been thrown away regardless. Have a seat. Appreciate you both. Thank you very much. That's right. Keep it, <laughs> keeping you fine tuned. Thanks, guys. Jail beginning the same as any.
four or seventeen to a confluence.
St. George PD, one female.